The modern Australian native food industry, also called the bush food industry, had its initial beginnings in the 1970s and early 1980s, when regional enthusiasts and researchers started to target local native species. In the mid-1970s Brian Powell recognised the commercial potential of Kwangdong fruit and began its cultivation in orchards. Following this, the CSIRO became involved in Kwangdong research. In the late 1970s, Peter Hardwick began investigating subtropical native plants suitable for commercial cropping, selecting fruit species like ribery, Davidsonia, and later leaf spices, like lemon myrtle, aniseed myrtle, and dorigo pepper. Hardwick started targeting strong flavored species suitable for processing, which later became the main industry strategy. In the 1980s, Hardwick worked in the New South Wales Department of Agriculture, where he met essential oils researcher, Dr. Ian Southwell. Southwell played a significant role in providing the essential oil profiles of many of the most popular native spices. In 1983, the University of Sydney's Human Nutrition Unit, headed by Jenny Brand Miller, undertook a nutritional analysis program analysing bushfood for Aboriginal health. Vic Cherikoff, a member of the Human Nutrition Unit team, started up a wholesale distribution company marketing native Australian ingredients. Cherikoff played a vital role in linking up the Aboriginal and regional bush food research with the restaurant and food processing industry. Cherikoff also contributed to Jennifer Isaac's book, Bush Food and authored the Bush Food Handbook and Uniquely Australian, a wild food cookbook which publicly defined the emerging industry. In the mid-1980s several Australian theme restaurants opened up in Sydney. This included Roundtree's The Australian Restaurant, run by chef Jean-Paul Brunetto and Jenny Dowling. In 1996 Brunetto, Dowling and Cherikoff opened a second restaurant, Ribery's, Taste Australia. Edna's Table Restaurant also opened up and was run by brother and sister team, chef Raymond Kirsch and Janice Kirsch. The Red Ochre Grill in Adelaide opened up in the early 1990s, with Andrew Filkey as its chef. Filkey also co-founded a production company, Australian Native Produce Industries Value-added production emerged in the late 1980s with products marketed via mainstream retailers. Ian and Julie Robbins, established a line of processed sauces, jams and dried spice products through Robbins Foods Thai Limited. Boutique value-added production minus such as jams, sauces and beverages, has become increasingly significant in the regional development of native foods. Small-scale trial commercial production of native food plants started to occur in the late 1980s, especially in northern New South Wales. In 1994 the Rural Industries Research and Development Corporation and Greening Australia Co. sponsored a conference on growing bushfoods near Lismore. The 2000 Olympic Games, in Sydney, were targeted by the developing industry as an event for promoting native foods. Various regionally based industry associations were formed to represent growers in a national process. Government agencies have become increasingly involved with new native crop development. CSIRO researcher, Dr. Stephen Sykes, developed a range of native citrus hybrids which became available through ANPI. Since 2000 the industry has continued to consolidate, with a growing overseas market for produce and greater refinement in production methods to supply the demand. Some new products have been introduced, including finger lime, mintbush and eucalyptus alita. However, while the rate of introduction of new native food plant species has slowed since the early period of the industry's conception in the 1980s, the marketing of herb and spice blends, fruit mixtures and functional extracts has grown, potentially leading the industry into new and larger market segments. Crops initially associated mainly with bushfood, such as lemon myrtle, have since broadened to become associated with essential oils and cosmetics. <laughs> 